Okay, we just got this from Xiaomi. Xiaomi Multi-Coil Wallace Charger. We can see the entire package is orange, pretty nice. And I think there should be no filter inside, just a box with the charger inside. Okay, we have opened that just to the invoice. And then we can see the product. The product name is printed in the front of the packaging. Xiaomi logo also printed on the side. And for the specification on the back, we can see the kind of interface, working temperature, and the size. Single device can support 20 watts charging. Dual devices can support 40 watts charging totally. Triple devices can support 60 watts charging totally. So pretty fast, isn't it? After open the box, we can see the charger. There isn't anything to protect it. You can see it right after you open it. And the guide paper is placed under the charger. We can know how to use, where to place, where is the interface, how many devices can support. Technically, you can just put the devices down because it has multiple coils. And next will be the warranty certificate and detailed instructions. And here is the cable. There is a special contact point in USB-A port, which can let us know it's the special USB-A port. Only in this way, it can support Xiaomi's own portable. There is another 6A mark in here. And let's test the diameter of the cable, around 3.9 milliliter, a little bit thicker than others. The entire length is around 102 cm. It's enough if you just use it on the desk. It's really rare for the 120 watts charger. And we can also see the special contact in here. The maximum output is 20 volts, 6 amp, 120 watts for sure. Which is too much to charge this wireless charger. But if you have other Xiaomi devices like Mi 10, Mi 11, you can use it to charge. Apple 96 watts charger is close to 100 watts, but you can see the huge size difference between them. Tear off the sticker on the USB-C port. The silver part of the frame should be metal, but we'll see it later. The button is the rubber pad. Feels very smooth, comfortable, and non-slip when you put it on the table. There is a circle of chamfer at the edge of the border, which is very shiny. There is a charging indicator on the front side. The feel of the panel of this wireless charger is a bit similar to leather. There are no obstacle scratches even if we scrape it. So the durability should be okay. Let's take a look at the frame. Scrape the paint on the outside slightly. Mm, seems like the metal because sometimes you feel it's mantle, but actually it's just a coating. For this one, ought to be mantle. And now we're gonna test the weight. Mm, 463 grams, and the length is approximately 23 centimeter. Its width is about 10 centimeter. For the thickness, is about 15 milliliter. Compared to the other wireless charger that Xiaomi launched, firstly is the Xiaomi 80 watts wireless charger. Maximum output is 80 watts. This is the Xiaomi 55 watts wireless charger. Maximum output is 55 watts. We can see the fast charging mark if we use it to charge the Mi 11 which means the private particle has been triggered, I think. Put it to the corner of the panel. Yep, it can be charged successfully. And we see the fast charging mark as well. 
Let's try another place. Same thing. And then let's put an iPhone next to it. Perfectly working. And put the TWS headphones next to iPhone. Perfectly working. Okay, time's up. Let's tear this down to see what's inside. We can start from this pad. Poke and tear it down. It should be two layers, and the second layer is transparent. So we tear down the pad slowly. The screws under the pad should be used to fix. The rubber pad is pretty sticky. Phillips screws under it. Now let's remove all Phillips screws. Use our crowbar along the front edge. Pry it to separate the upper cover from the lower base. Make it slow because I do not want to damage the product. Push up slightly and open it along the edge. And that's it, we made it. Just like the back cover of Samsung phones, really tough. Use crowbar to push it up slightly. The coil should be fixed by glue. So we need to slowly separate the whole module from the base. It's literally metal. But there's something different. A layer of plastic frame is added to the metal base. The upper layer is the graphite heat dissipation layer. The black one on the outside is a rubber pad. The other side is thermal conductive pad, which is very thick. So you should have good thermal conductivity and protection. Tear down the heat dissipation layer. And there are three semesters to detect the temperature of the wireless charging module. There is also a heat balancing aluminum plate between the PCB and the magnetic conductive sheet. Tear off the tape covered the coils, which called Myla sheet. The coils are glued to each other by double-sided tape. USB-C port is soldered to the hollow of the PCB, which will reduce the thickness. For the length of PCB is about 21.5 cm, and the width is about 9 cm. Thickness is about 2.9 ml. This tiny thing is input filter inductor, and this is the protective IC which is used for input over voltage and over current protection. Here is the voltage controller of input interface from Cypress, usually used for some high-end equipment. And this big chip is the main controller chip, comes from Chips Vision CV90365, which can control multiple circuits. For example, the Xiaomi Multi-Coil Wireless Charger, it uses the main controller chip to control three charging circuits, so it can charge up to three devices. Firstly, every circuit has a bug converter, just this tiny chip from MPS. And this is the bug inductor, which adapts color design to reduce the thickness, and heat can be dissipated more efficiently. The following is the MOS tube driving the coil. Two chips as a group, three groups totally. The four small white objects in here are its MPO resonant capacitors. In this way, it can form a wireless charging circuit. And then let's take a look at the second circuit. The second bug converter is in the middle. Next to it is the bug inductor. This circuit also have a MOS tube driving the coil and the MPO resonant capacitors. This is two half-bridge drivers from Dial in here, which used to drive the wireless charging power tubes. The third circuit is on right side. Its third bug converter is in here. Bug inductor is next to it. This is the most tube driving the coil and the MPO resonant capacitors. Also, it has two half bridge drivers from Dio in here, used to drive the wireless charging power tubes. There are four power tubes totally. 
This is two operational amplifier chip from 3Peak LMV324B. The following chip is the displacement register used to control the wireless charging coil. We can see four chips for different coils. Finally, there are 19 MOS tubes on the top and bottom sides, which are from Admin and used to switch wireless charging coils. Because there are 19 coils in the front, so it should be 19 MOS tubes in the back. So that's all for our teardown. For this multi-coil wireless charger, the charging experience is pretty good because you do not need to align. But the heat problem can't be ignored. We can find by our teardown that this wireless charger adapts graphite heat dissipation layer and thick conductive pad, which can effectively dissipate heat. So for the air power Xiaomi version, will you interest in it? For more content, please subscribe to the Charger Lab and visit our website chargerlab.com. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.